so we have now D2, the second basic differentiation rule, and it's called the constant multiple rule. So what does the constant multiple rule state? <clears throat> so let K be a constant, then the derivative of the constant times a certain function of X is just the product of K and the derivative of that function. Okay, so we try to observe, uh, although it's not the right term to use, uh, it seems that k is factored out of the derivative. Again, it's not really factoring, but rather it's the brilliant use of the uh, loss of limits. Okay, so let's try to prove this and why is this true. So let k be a constant and g of x be k times f of x. So we start with uh, having a function of g of x be equal to k times a function of f of x. So proof, we're going to get the derivative of this g of x. And we use the definition of limits, but instead of f, we have g because our function is g. So we have... Uh, we have to substitute the value of g afterwards. So, what's the value of g of x plus h? It is actually k times f of x plus h. Okay? And g of x is actually k of f of x. So, again, uh, what happened here is that we simply added h on the input values. Okay? From this. Okay? Then we factored out k because it's the common factor here. <clears throat> okay, then using the loss of limits, so take note that in the loss of limits, we can actually transfer k outside of the limit. Hence, we have now the definition of a derivative. Okay, so we can rewrite this definition of the derivative into this. So Either we have k times dy dx, or in the function notation, f notation, we have k of the derivative of f of x. Yeah, we have proven the constant multiple rule. Let's have some examples. Okay, so if we have f of x equals 3x. We simply need to find the derivative as per instruction. So instead of using the definition, the limit definition of the derivative, we will use d2 here. Okay, so we have 3x. So 3 here applying d2 is now outside of the derivative. Okay, so we simply put it outside and it's here. So we have now the uh, derivative of x in terms of x okay so take note that the derivative of x with respect to x is just one okay, so if you use the definition the limit definition of the derivative uh, it is just one so if the function is just a variable without any thing uh, any coefficients any exponents and then we have dx here so implies that it's with respect to x so we get the derivative of x with respect to x it's just one okay so we have now three times one which is three okay so take note of this uh, uh, do not forget that the derivative of x with respect to x is just one so we have now our answer